Hello internet, this is Alfie Crow, Big Cat Country with SB Nation. Talking a little Jacksonville Jaguars training camp battles. Uh, the first battle that we're going to get into for the Jaguars this year is at the cornerback position. Uh, you have Derek Cox starting on one side. The other side, though, it's going to be a battle between Aaron Ross, free agent pickup, and Wiley veteran Rasheen Mathis. Mathis, as most of you know, and if you don't, coming off a torn ACL he suffered last year. Uh, Ross is coming in. He's played the starter position before. The two are going to battle it out in camp with the, the loser likely going to slide inside to Nickelback. I tend to think Rasheem Mathis will keep his starting gig and allow Ross to play inside where he's a better fit. The next battle that's going to be real fun to watch is the number two or three wide receiver position. And I say two or three because really both are up for grabs. Uh, the the starting wide receiver spot, the first one, the number one is going to be free agent pickup Lauren Robinson. But after that, it's it's wide open. Uh, you have uh, number five overall pick, Justin Blackman, likely going to be the starter. But is he going to make it to training camp on time? As of this recording, he's yet to sign. Uh, and then you have him battling with Mike Thomas, Cecil Shorts the third. Um, Kevin Elliott, you have a bunch of guys in there. Lee Evans, a lot of a lot of guys that can you know vie for those two spots. I tend to think it's going to be Justin Blackman on the outside at the number two position if he gets signed. Um, then the real battle will take place for the number three position. You have Mike Thomas coming off a big you know disappointment season last year after signing his new contract. Didn't look that great in mini camp. Dropped a lot of passes. Uh, if, he, if he didn't have a lot of guaranteed money, he might be on the bubble, but he does. So that leaves, you know, you have Lee Evans, the Wiley veteran, who has played with Coach Mike Malarkey before. Malarkey knows what he brings to the table. And then Cecil Shorts, the real kind of, you know, he, he looked really good in preseason last year. In camp, did nothing during the regular season. Once again in minicamp, looks great. I, I think he's a guy who can legitimately push for that number three receiver, you know, spot and maybe push push Mike Thomas down to the bench if Thomas can't get his act together. The next big battle will be on the defensive side of the ball, the opposite defensive end position from Jeremy Mincy. Jeremy Mincy is going to start likely at right end. Then the battle is going to be for that left end position will be Austin Lane, who I think is penciled in as the starter right now. Or is it going to be second round pick Andre Branch? Branch is kind of that speed rusher guy. Might struggle against the run in the NFL. Don't know yet. Haven't seen him in pads. But, you know, Austin Lane's coming off that shoulder injury. He was slated to start last year. Looks like a complete monster in camp. Never really materialized to the game, though. He did play with a torn labrum. Uh, he's got that all fixed and ready to go. So it's going to be a battle between those two guys. Who's going to be the starter? The next big storyline from training camp, quarterback Blaine Gabbert. I mean, that's going to be most of what everyone focuses on when they're in training camp. He was just awful last year. Yes, I know. You know, worst situation for a rookie, blah, blah, blah. We can make all the excuses we want. Uh, you got to see improvement this year in training camp. Uh, mini camp, he looked great. I uh, thought he looked much better than Chad Henney. But that's also training camp. There's no live rush. You know, he doesn't have to worry about getting hit, which was the big problem last year. He would duck away from contact. So, you know, can, can he get his mechanics right? He had real pro problems with his footwork last year, keeping his shoulder square, getting into his drops. So that's going to be a big thing to focus on this year. He looks like he has the offense down already. So that that's one step in the right direction. He knows what he's supposed to do with the football. Now it's just executing it and, you know, getting all those little things hammered out. They didn't have the chance to work on last year with the lockout and the whole, you know, coaches on the one year contract situation. It was really a bad deal for that. So you want to look in training camp. Does he look comfortable? Does he set his feet when, he's th when he throws? How's his drop back look? Because those are going to be very, very important when we get to the games. And finally, it's a new coaching staff. It's going to be an entirely new look offense if it's any indication of what we saw in minicamp. A lot of passing the football, a lot of three wide sets, you know, maybe kind of like a spreadish system, kind of like the Saints run. Uh, but it's going to be Bob Brakowski calling the shots, not Mike Malarkey. I'm sure there will be a little mesh of both of their style of offenses. 
But Brakowski did call offense for Carson Palmer and kind of that, you know, up-tempo Cincinnati Bengals offense when when Chad Johnson and TJ Hushmanzada were, you know, in their prime and Palmer was putting up Pro Bowl type numbers. Not saying Gabbert's going to do that, but it should be a more up-tempo offense than what we're used to watching from the Jaguars. Maurice Jones-Drew should still be there. He should still get his carries. He should still be, you know, a Pro Bowl runner. But it, it should be a, an entirely new look offense than what we've, you know, we're used to seeing under Jack Del Rio. That's all I got for right now. Let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree with, with my, my training camp storylines. If I missed one, let me know if I missed one in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to Big Cat Country's YouTube channel. Be sure to also subscribe to SB Nation's NFL YouTube channel. Going to be a lot of great stuff on there this year.